Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Actually, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome back to another video. Uh, this one is a bit of a travel video, and I'm going to do some talk over, speak over, but I'm not going to do a lot. Uh, I just wanted to post a video um, of a trip that we did to Porto. Uh, the footage you just saw is us eating on the first evening. Uh, Porto is a really beautiful place. We went there for our honeymoon. Some of you might know we got married in um, May. End of May, so we went for a little holiday to Portugal. We also went to Lisbon as well. Uh, this one's just on Porto. Uh, we stayed in a really great hotel in Porto, uh, eight room hotel with a penthouse. It also had apartments. Uh, Mars Armazem Luxury Housing. I'm probably not pronounce the first what the first part properly. Um, and I gotta remember to speak into the microphone. Um, hotel was really good. If you want a really small boutique hotel in in the heart of uh, old old the old part of Port, uh, Porto, uh, it's a great hotel. Um, so we went out. We were only there for we got there I think on the Thursday night and we left on the Sunday night for um, for Lisbon. I think it was the Sunday night. If I'm wrong, Tasha is going to be angry with me, but I think that's what it was. Um, we went to a few exhibitions there. Uh, there was a great Olaf. Eliasson, <laughs> I probably haven't said that right. We saw his exhibition in London. Uh, his exhibition was on in um, the museum in Porto. This is one of them that you're seeing on the screen now. Um, so that was a good day. We actually spent the day in, uh, well, we didn't actually spend the day there. What am I talking about? We spent, went there in the morning and then they have these gardens and there's this old uh, Art Deco house, which I think was something to do with the original owner of the um, art gallery. My facts aren't right here, so excuse me, I'm doing this all off the cuff. Um, so there was artworks in the garden. Um, I'm guessing some of these are some other tastes. There's Natasha, that was another... <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce his name again because I always get it wrong. Olaf Eliasson. Um, so we walked through the park. The park was beautiful. It was a hot day. Uh, Portugal in general was so hot. Obviously not as hot as uh, Bahrain where we live now, but uh, hotter than London. Um, so that was a really good day. So this artwork here is uh, by an artist called Richard Serra. Some of you would know uh, Richard Serra. We've seen exhibitions of him in London. That's me filming it with the camera up the wrong way, but hey, it worked. Um, so actually, I think that's Natasha's footage. What am I talking about? So there was a richer Sarah in, in their garden. There was lots of artwork scattered through the garden. It was just a really nice thing to do, really nice to walk around. There's my beautiful wife. Um, so we spent a few hours there and then eventually we made it to the uh, house. Richard Sarah, we're in uh, Porto in Portugal. Holiday for one week, uh, Porto for a few days, and then to Lisbon again. So this is the grounds of the Art Deco house. I should have the name, I'm sorry. I might put the name up on the screen. You'll see it on text in a second. Uh, this was the name of the house and the gardens. If you're in Porto, make sure you go here. It's well worth the while. Uh, even if you don't like gardens and houses and architecture and design, just go and take a look at it. It's one of the things on the list of things to do in Porto. Um, and it's worth it. It really is, it's worth it. Uh, the fee to get in includes the um, art gallery and <coughs> and the house as well and the garden, so you get to see all of it. I mean, every time I see a house like this, I think this is where somebody lived. And you think, man, I don't know. I don't know if any of you guys have this much money, but if you had the money to live in a house like this in the center of Portugal, Porto, sorry, uh, it's pretty amazing, but um, very amazing house, very amazing grounds. And, you know, a great, great designed house, actually, architecture-wise and color and inside. I mean, it's it's actually enormous inside, but there's not that many bedrooms. It's quite weird. Uh, so it was a very spacious house for whoever lived there. So this is underneath the front of the house and it's looking out to back to the garden and back to the water. Uh, it's like a little, uh, it's not a folly is it? It's where you can catch the shade in the afternoon I guess and explore your garden. This is inside the house and this is the view from the main, the main entrance I guess, the main area when you first enter the house where guests would enter the house. Uh, okay, so now we're skipped. We're at the, um, we're at, I'm going to forget what it's called. Uh, uh, what is it called? Musica, Musica, Musica. 
the design by Run Cool House uh, in Porto. We did a tour of this building. I'm going to put the name up because I'm really messing up names today. I'm really sorry. Uh, so we actually got there right just before 4 p.m. And at 4 p.m. they do a, a tour of the building, which is really good to do. So we did a tour. This was in one of the rooms. This is the suspended bar. The floor in this bar, as you can see, I don't know if you just saw that, it, it has now perspex on the floor. When the architect first designed it, it was just literally the grate and it's suspended above the main lobby underneath. Uh, architecturally, it looked fantastic, but obviously when people were drinking and women were there with their dresses, everyone can see from underneath. So they put this perspex on top before it was just completely, completely open. But it's it's suspended, it's suspended from the ceiling. Uh, I don't know if I've got a shot of that. This is the glass that's through... Uh, through the building which um, the architect cool house like used as a uh, as a way to get light into the building and as a way to um, keep the sound in now uh, this is the lift shaft from our room down to the breakfast room in uh, Amazam luxury housing you know I like my eggs and bacon uh, especially on my keto diet But it was a beautiful, it was a beautiful spot, and because it only had a few rooms, the hotel was actually uh, really, really, really enjoyable. Uh, like I said, eight rooms in a penthouse. Uh, we spoke to two guests who were staying in the penthouse, and that's the only people we really spoke to apart from the hotel staff. Uh, we went out again the next day. Uh, this was a pretty big day, actually. Um, this is just uh, we walked a lot in Porto. We didn't actually catch, uh, or we did catch Ubers. I shouldn't say we caught Ubers and we walked. Uh, we were walking to the train station, the Porto train station, um, and we we're walking there because the um, the train station has all the uh, you know the unique tiles to the region, uh, and it's it's on the list of things to see in Porto. Uh, there's lots of blue tiles in Porto. You'll see lots of buildings with blue tiles with lots of tourists Instagramming in front of them. Um, this was in the station. This is the the, ra the railway station. For you guys that have been there, you would have seen it before. So we just took a look at it. Uh, my 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 footage is not great. Sorry, my footage is not great. I wasn't really concentrating. So that's the train station outside. But it's more the entrance to the train station with the um, with the beautiful tiles and and the entrance to the train station. I mean, quite a beautiful train station. So busy that day. It was crazy. I think it was a weekend Saturday. Oh, then we had the most fantastic lunch. If you're in Porto, you've got to go to this restaurant, you have to book. Uh, that was fantastic. That was the salmon tuna ceviche. Tuna, tuna ceviche, tuna steak. You know I always have steak. Um, <clears throat> it was a good steak, actually. It was a really good restaurant, great staff. It's called Tapa Bento. Uh, check it out on Google Maps. It's really, really good. In Porto, go to it. Dessert, uh, we broke it. We're not eating sugar, but we had some dessert that day. Um, we had a fantastic meal. We probably drank too much wine, or I drank too much wine. Bill was okay, 83 euros, uh, which I think is okay. And then we decided uh, in the morning last minute that we're going to go to... So we're at Graham's. We're going to go on a port tasting. Porto is absolutely beautiful. I have to say that this is the place where I want to buy a property. Not in Lisbon. If you're looking for a property in Portugal. You can see I'm not a great tourist guide. Um, so this is uh, this is at the port place. There's my wife. So we did a tour. Uh, this is in their underground in their cellar, with all their big vats and the casts. Uh, it's probably the wrong name as well. It was a really, really good tour. I read mixed things on Google. You can't always trust Google reviews. Uh, I read mixed reviews. It said it wasn't very good. Uh, you pay like, you can pay I think 17 euro. You can pay up to like a few hundred euro, but we paid seven to, uh, 22 euro each because we had the slightly better ports, which means you get three of each. So you get to taste six different ports. I'm not a big port fan, but I had a port, uh, we had a port on the first night in Porto and I really enjoyed it. Um, I guess it's the quality of the port. Uh, these ports that we drank here, the older ones, the vintage ones were actually really, really nice. Uh, so they go through the whole thing. The, the guide actually takes you around, explains everything, goes for about an hour. And then at the end of the tour, you get to go to the tasting room and taste the port and you get to meet other people and chat. So they have it all laid out for you. They know which ones you, you picked. They have your name and your table. So you just sit down. It's all very well organized. Um, then we walk back uh, from the port place. I will put the name up on the screen, I'm sorry. I should know it. It's like an English name. 
Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I keep forgetting names. So this is walking back. That's looking back into Porto. It's a great spot, great vantage point to see the uh, to see the city, town, or whatever you call it. Uh, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. I really enjoy Porto. In fact, I think I like it more than Lisbon. It's more chill than Lisbon. It's more feels more beach resort, coastal. Uh, and that night we then went out to dinner. I don't know how we ate dinner after having. Um, we found this on Google reviews, but then we had dinner again. Uh, very light. I had no wine. This is the little balcony that's on the um, on our hotel, which was on the same floor as our room. We we're on the top floor. The penthouse was on the top floor, on the floor below. So this is just looking back. Our hotel was completely rebuilt. It's a new sort of concrete structure hotel. Like I said, to me, one of the best hotels I've stayed in. Uh, in Lisbon, two years ago, we stayed in Memo Principal Real. Real. That's a great hotel as well. Uh, this was uh, this is when we were trying to go to the find the wall part of the wall of the city. We kind of got lost, but we had a good uh, we had a good walk anyway. Another hot day, but a great vantage point of the bridge. That bridge you see in the background. Later on, we are going to walk over the top of that bridge, uh, which. It was a windy day up there, and Natasha's not great with heights. Uh, that's the cable car that goes past. Um, yeah, so Natasha's not great with heights, but we, we managed to get across. On the way back, uh, we walked back the lower level. But you know, typical, typical sort of Portuguese view. That's one of the other bridges. I mean, this was actually, this is on the top of the bridge. This is on the top. So the bridge has a lower level, a top level, and there's a tram or train that goes next to you there. There's hardly any barricade. The barriers in Portugal, in Lis in Porto, seem very, very low. So Tash is freaking out a little bit here. It's really high, but it was a beautiful day, and it was an absolutely fantastic view. Now, look at that. Look at that. Imagine having a imagine having a holiday house there or your house there to come to. Um... I saw a few Porsches in um, in Porto as well. I saw a 9964S, I saw a 992, I saw a 997. That's So we came down the lower part of the bridge. This is crazy. This is Sunday or Saturday. It's absolutely insane that day. It was so, so busy. And then we're leaving. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, Till next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember, hit that subscribe button. Uh, trying to get to 3,000. Let me, help me get there.